Hey there, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying all the snow that we're getting. Um, looking forward to jumping back into Romans with all of you. Um, this coming Sunday, the 29th, uh, I will be speaking on Romans chapter 6, uh, the entire chapter, verses 1 through 23. And kind of the thing you need to know about Romans 6, again, like everything else that Paul's doing, he's feeding off of a previous section and and answering a question that might have been raised from something he had just said, um, where he's, he had just talked about how that there's grace, and and people could be wondering, well, if there's grace, then shouldn't I be allowed to sin and, and sin more so that I can have more grace? And, and Paul kind of gets into this here in chapter 6. And the thing you need to know about chapter 6 is there are two main sections in it, verses 1 through 14, talks about that those under grace are not under sin. And then 15 through the end of the chapter is that those under grace really should not choose sin. Uh, and the reason that is the case is because we who live in this land of grace are dead to sin. And so, um, and that's what we're going to talk a little bit about on Sunday. And so the thing that you really need to know, or as you're studying it in your small groups, are looking at this chapter and notice some of the verbs in it. Uh, notice uh, there is a verb of no. Um, and what are the things that you need to know to realize that you are dead to sin? Another verb uh, might be consider, or some of your translations might have reckon. Um, and so what do we need to consider? And then the last verb uh, there is either present or to offer yourselves or the things like that to present yourself um, and so what and why do we need to present ourselves a certain way um, and so those are just some of the things that we're going to cover uh, on sunday um, but as you look at romans chapter six and you're studying this um, it might be helpful for you to Compare Romans 6 to Galatians, uh, even Galatians chapters 2 through 5. There are a lot of similarities, so I might suggest you do that. Um, another thing as you're studying this is maybe to think of some analogies that you can compare what it's like or what might be similar of being dead to sin. Like what other types of relationships or interactions that when you are changed by something, that it reshapes your behaviors or your attitudes or your affections. Um, and then one other thing is to answer the question of how would your life be different? What would it look like if you really understood that you were dead to sin? Like, how would that affect the way that you lived? How would it affect the way that you worshiped? How would it affect the way uh, that you presented yourself before the Lord? So... Uh, there's a lot to look into this uh, chapter, and I'm really looking forward to getting into it with you. So, uh, yeah, God bless you all.